Afternoon, Pep. Um, Hi. I wonder if we just start with team news. If you have any players struggling after Madrid, particularly the likes of Foden, De Bruyne, and how how Carl Walker is. We are training this afternoon, and we will know better how how they feel. The, the challenge of of Luton couldn't be more different than the challenge of uh, of Real Madrid next week. Is it difficult to concentrate solely on the Luton? We have to, we have to. Premier League is so important, and I expect a game more similar that uh, what happened in the Premier League when we won two one at the end, than the FA Cup, uh, and we have to be ready. So it's eleven month a month fighting for the title. Yeah. We know the position that we are, that we cannot drop points. In the title race, is it sometimes an advantage to play first with Arsenal and Liverpool, not playing until Sunday? It doesn't matter. We have to do the same job. We, in the title races in the past, we play sometimes before, sometimes later. We have to win your game. Sam? Um, after the game on Tuesday, Rodri said he felt he's, as though he needed a rest. First of all, is he likely to get that rest? And I know you've spoken about the demands on players before. But if you beat Real Madrid, you won't get a midweek off now until the end of the season. Then there's the Euros. The next season is obviously a bigger Champions League and then the Club World Cup. What do you feel about players getting rest? And for Rodri in particular, what's his physical state? I didn't speak with him. If he needs rest, he will have rest. Or no. <laughs> I don't know. So I had the feeling that uh, the game is tired, like Crystal Palace in Madrid. The second half was better than the first half. And ran more and was more precise in the second half than the first. It depends on the team. But more the physicality is a question, of course. The spend mental energy, playing every three days, three days, three days. Of course, it's tired. Play a lot of minutes. Really so important for us. And we'll decide tomorrow what we have to do. You have players injured. A lot of other clubs have had a lot of injuries as well. Do you think this is going to be a, a growing problem because the calendar's not reducing, the calendar's getting bigger? Absolutely. Completely right with you. There is no way of, of dealing with that. It's getting worse and worse and worse. With the teams that play European competition as that will be getting worse and worse, yeah. Hi, Pep. Um, can I just check on Edison? Is he physically ready? Is he about physicality or his, well, Ortega might be the first choice, no? No. It is the first choice. Is he ready to play tomorrow? Uh, he's ready. Was ready to play against Madrid. Yeah, he's ready to play tomorrow. He's going to play the next game, and we'll take the decisions for many reasons. And obviously, you are used to Haaland being a debate every match he plays, and especially when he doesn't score, which is rare. But anyway, it's 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 something that caught people's attention. Do you think? that he needs to improve what he does outside of the box. Do you think against Madrid was more the case that the team didn't get close to him enough like against Arsenal? He's a young player, has a, some departments in the game how to improve. Like a player with 33 years old can have margins to improve. But it's more about the team than him. I think he, he was a bit too isolated in Bernabeu, or...? He scored three goals. But he wasn't involved, was he? I have two central defenders close to him, but really close to him, it's not easy. It's the most difficult position in the pitch, most difficult position is a strike. Every player have one player, and this is one central defender. I have two against one strike, but uh, he has two players. And they were so tight and a really good defenders, Madrid and most of the team. So it's the most difficult position. Hi, Pep. The, uh, the suggestion from Jamie Carragher just on Haaland was about 
if, if he wants to win a Ballon d'Or and be the best player in the world overall, then it's that it's improving areas of his game. I know you say players have to improve, but you've worked with players like Messi who have won the Ballon d'Or, who are the best player in the world. So specifically, like how far is Haaland from that in his general game? And what, what areas do you think he needs to improve to get to that Ballon d'Or level? Play more minutes, learn for the, what you have to do, the game plan. But I, I don't know, the target is no win the Ballon d'Or. The target is win the Premier League, the Champions League, and the FA Cups, the Carabao Cups. And uh, he did it. And without him, it would not be possible. What we won last season, five titles, without him, no chance. Impossible. And he's a key player for us. And he improved because for his age, and his desire, and more games, more experience. Arrive at the last stages in the competitions never happened in his career, so this is uh, this is uh, will be his future. But the uh, same is not about Erling. About any player, even with 33 years old, you can be better. Until you retire, you can be better. I know you've not had training yet, but obviously, when we last saw you in Madrid, Phil Foden, you said he was hopefully okay. What was the issue? Was it a dead leg? Was it an impact I injury? I would like to tell you, but I didn't see the team. I didn't speak with the doctors. So we trained this afternoon and and now when we finish the press conference, I will make a meeting and we will see how they feel. Can I ask us one final one on Kyle Walker? Um, I think you were hopeful, given that his powers of recovery seem to be quite remarkable, that he may, may be back for Real Madrid. Is, is there a chance he might be it's back this same. weekend? It's the same. I don't know right now. You don't know? I don't know right now. Honestly. I would tell you, but it's the same I said. They are out, out, and Josko was doubt. At the end, was we had to have an incredible job, our officials, and he could play. So it's the same. So I don't know. If he's ready, I would tell you, he's ready. He can play. Thank you. Hi, Pep. When a player like Rodri comes to you and says they're too tired, they need a rest, how easy is it to say yes, or do you have to ever say no to a player and tell them they have to play? If a player doesn't want to play, he's not going to play. It's simple. Another one is going to play. If he's tired, feel exhausted, it can happen. Another player is going to play. And is it a case of managing all these players in this really tight schedule? Will you have to give Roger a rest at some point? Yeah, but not just ready. I would love to have rest central defenders, but we don't have. So for friendly games, injured. So we are in a big, big trouble. So we cannot rest.